Hey guys, I'm Dr. Daniel Sugai. I'm a board certified dermatologist here in the Seattle area. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. Today's video is going to be very special because I've been seeing a lot of hair loss and a lot of hair care mistakes. But before jumping into this video, today's video is sponsored by Iris Store. Yep, Iris Store. You guys have heard of this laser cap. I'm going to go over it today. So before jumping into common hair care mistakes, I'm going to go over a hair loss solution first. Something for you to consider if you are noticing hair thinning with time. As we age, our hair follicles can miniaturize and get really small and it will also tend to favor being in the resting phase or telogen phase. There are various hair loss treatments and solutions out there with varying costs and side effects. Topical therapies that you may find over the counter or oral medications that will prescribe to you can have side effects, something you'll discuss with your dermatologist in your hair loss consultation. Today we'll highlight a great option for you if you have hair thinning. A great option for hair loss in men and women and it's called Iris Store. LLLT or low level laser therapy harnesses laser energy to increase blood flow to the scalp and thus to the hair follicles and will also increase our hair's time spent in the growth phase or antigen phase. Now this is the Iris Store professional cap that utilizes both lasers and LEDs. It is FDA cleared and will treat the scalp including the hairline, the sides or we call the parietal scalp and also the occipital scalp or the back of the scalp. There was a time when I had to close down my clinic for a whole month in 2020 during the first lockdown. Very stressful time for me and my practice and my employees. But during this time of adjusting to a new lifestyle, the unknowns, I did notice increased hair shedding. And to prevent further hair shedding and hair loss, thankfully I don't have significant male pattern baldness, but that will come with time potentially. I use things for prevention, including a well-balanced diet, adequate sleep, try to exercise, minimize alcohol, those things we strive for overall health, but there are things that we can consider at home. And so I use the Iris Store cap when I'm just hanging out at home, whether reading on the computer, doing notes, editing videos, I can be working with the cap on like this. So you have this adapter you plug into the wall, press a couple buttons on the control panel, and there you have it. And you do this every other day for 25 minutes. And by staying consistent, you increase your chances for having results. While this cap sits on my scalp, my hair follicle cells are absorbing the light energy, which increases ATP production and cell metabolism, which also leads to increased nitric oxide. And that leads to increased blood flow to the hair follicles in the scalp. This laser cap sets itself from the other caps out there because it has 282 lasers and LEDs. And you can see the coverage the sides of the scalp, the occipital scalp or the back of the scalp, and then your frontal hairline. So you have broad coverage with this cap. You can also check out the before and after photos on Iris Store's website. Also check out their link down below and use my discount code, Dr. Daniel. The most important part of any dermatology visit or consultation is setting expectations. What are the expectations with this laser cap? When using this consistently 25 minutes every other day, don't be discouraged if you don't see dramatic results in the first three to six months. You should notice slow improvements where you're gonna have decreased hair shedding and thus less hair loss overall. But after six to 12 months of consistent use, then we start to see significant results where you get visible results with increased hair growth. And then after that, just keep it up, just keep going. And then you'll see continued results with continued use. All right, guys, now on to hair care mistakes. Let's go over five common hair care mistakes. Number one, wearing tight hairstyles. If you pull your hair back into a tight ponytail, you're going to put a lot of tension on the frontal hairline. And this is called traction alopecia. I see this very commonly. You can do it, see it in different hairstyles, tight braids, all those things can lead to increased traction alopecia, especially at the front and sides of your scalp. And it can even get to the point where it's permanent hair loss, where you have scarring of the scalp skin. Scarring alopecia is very serious because you have to imagine a field of bad soil at that point. You can never regrow your hair after that. If you have non-scarring alopecia, which is early stages of traction alopecia, you could potentially potentially have hair regrowth by stopping those tight hairstyles altogether. Also, hair extensions can cause abnormal stress on the hair follicles and thus leading to hair loss. And that's also a form of traction alopecia. So the best thing to do are to avoid those hair bands with that little metal component. You want to use soft scrunchies as much as possible so that you also don't traumatize your hair. And I feel like all those things are part of proper hair care, not pulling your hair too tight and also not using really harsh rubber bands that will traumatize 
traumatize your hair, especially when you take them out and they're, you're pulling out a bunch of hair. When taking out the hair tie, you want to avoid that as much as possible. Number two, you're using a hair iron, a straining iron over wet hair. Now, you guys might think people don't actually do this. I see this online quite a bit where you have wet hair and people are using a straightening iron. Now, the heat source to wet hair will cause heat bubbles or steam bubbles within the hair shaft, causing your hair shaft to become very fragile and it will break very easily. And you can see hair loss when you're doing this practice. Number three goes along with this using a hair dryer or blow dryer on high heat settings. You can use it on a low heat setting. You could towel pat dry very gently. You can gently put into a nice towel wrap, but using a blow dryer on high heat settings can also cause those steam bubbles to form within the hair shaft. So you wanna avoid that as much as possible. And then number four, taking high dose biotin. Biotin has some data showing that it can help with brittle nails at lower doses, like 2,500 micrograms per day, but taking it higher doses, like 10,000 micrograms a day, doesn't show any benefits to hair loss. Now there are brands out there that will say it helps with your hair health, but studies show there's no evidence backing that up. The other thing I want to caution you with is that if you use high dose biotin on a daily basis and then you go get your labs drawn, you might have falsely high thyroid levels and the immunoassay for the testing is really thrown off when you're taking high dose biotin. So if you're taking biotin, you might wanna stop taking the biotin a week before getting your labs drawn. But the other thing is there has been a case of someone having a masked heart attack because their heart enzymes or troponins were falsely lower than you would expect because of biotin messing around with the lab results, okay? So it can mess with the lab results for your thyroid and you can get a false diagnosis of Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism, or you might have a masked heart attack. And so I say, avoid the high dose biotin as much as possible. And number five, another way of being gentle with your hair is knowing when to brush it. If you have straight hair, you wanna brush your hair when your hair is dry, not when it's wet. When your hair is wet, it's very fragile, prone to breaking. And if you brush it, you're gonna also break your hair shafts more readily. If you have textured hair, curly hair, you can brush your hair while it's wet. And that's the preferred time to brush your hair is when it's a little damp versus dry if you have textured hair. Now, see your dermatologist if you're having any hair loss issues in general because hair loss is a very complex topic and hair loss solutions is also a complex topic and we try to customize it to you. And many times we say combining different modalities is best. And so see your dermatologist for a personalized consultation if you are dealing with hair loss. And the best time to start seeing a dermatologist is early stages of your hair loss. It's always good to jump on it when the hair loss is early on because it's always easier to maintain than to regrow. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you again, Iris Store, for sponsoring this video. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel and please share with your friends who are dealing with hair loss and hopefully we all improve our hair care routines at home. Take care and peace.